What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is officially fall and I'm coming at you with an Amazon fall fashion essentials video. These are pieces that I have been loving for quite some time. Some pieces even from last year that are still fully in stock. If you're familiar with this channel, you would know that we try to cover all sorts of price points. Everything from high end, like Lululemon and Aloe Yoga, speaking of which, we got an Aloe Yoga haul coming soon and it's good. To more affordable brands like Amazon, we also have a Camo Fitness video coming soon. And of course, everything in between, like Instagram brands such as Gymshark, Alpha Lee, and Buff Bunny. So if you are not subscribed, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. We have a ton of cool fall fashion videos coming your way. Alpha Lee's dropping a bunch of fall oriented amplifiers. Buff Bunny's coming out with a beautiful collection you don't want to miss. Set Active, Set in the City collection is en route right now. And we'll be having the Gymshark Animal coming your way any day now. And we love taking requests, so don't be shy. Drop a comment down below. We just did a Lazuli label request, a Halara request. So let's get to this Amazon fall fashion, shall we? If you even know me just a little bit, you would know fall fashion's my favorite because I'm a warm tone kind of gal. Those are the shades that I gravitate towards naturally. So what is fall fashion but warm tones? Do not even think that I'm slacking on this haul today. I even needed a bin to put everything in. So everything you're about to see is link down below. Also keep in mind, I started an Amazon storefront. So definitely check out my Amazon storefront. That's where I have all my tried and true Amazon pieces, all categorized, nice and neat for you, different folders. So we have sneakers, leggings, active sets, ribbed lounge sets, all that beautiful stuff. And I'm constantly adding to it as I try new things. So anything purchased through my links does help this channel out big time. Thank you so much if you do. It doesn't even have to be anything that I share with you. It could just be shop through my link and then buy your cart of whatever you got going on in there, girlfriend, and it'll still count. This might come as a shock to you, but my style this fall is super casual. I love athletic cozy wear, and then you dress it up with fall pieces, big statement pieces like this jacket, scarves, hats. So right now I have a off-white ribbed set. Starting the outfits off with a neutral piece really sets the tone to be able to dress it up. I love this cream color because it's not fully white. Don't wear white after Labor Day. I don't believe that. But. I feel like the cream tone is totally in this season. Am I right? I feel like that's the color this fall. This and cranberry, I'm seeing everywhere. This set is so cozy and easy to dress up. You'll see in just a second. Now this set looks white in the camera. I promise it's not. It's an ivory cream off-white. This is sold as a set which can get tricky with sizing. I stuck with my true size small and it's pretty good. The top is a little bit big, not a huge deal. I am not wearing this to the gym. If you buy this and expect to wear it to the gym and then say, hey Ash, like what the hell? I wore this to the gym and it was awful, not squat proof at all. I'm gonna be this. Can't say I didn't warn you. Do not, under any circumstances, wear this set to the gym. <laughs> Like I said, this is for fashion purposes only. Overall, the set is very soft to the touch and really stretchy, it's so easy to put on. No adjustments on this bra, but you do have removable bra pads. And I really do think the square neck is very flattering. I love a basic rib set because it's easy. You don't have to pick out your top, you don't have to pick out a bottom and match it. You just wear the set and then spice it up. Now it's time to style that cream set with some pops of color. I love this jacket. It's a shirt jacket. So it looks like it's a plaid shirt, but it can also be worn as a jacket. <laughs> These were super trending last year and I'm already starting to see them all over Instagram again this year. So it's safe to say these aren't going anywhere. These are fashionable fall essentials. So this is supposed to have that oversized look. So you can totally size down if you'd like. I would never. I love the oversized look, especially wearing these leggings. It covers my bum really nice. It's very soft and fuzzy on the outside, but not on the inside. The insides actually has a little bit of a rougher texture. I feel like this jacket is perfect for layering. So you can wear a long sleeve underneath. It has enough space to do that. And I'm also a big fan of the colors. I purposely went with this one because I liked the tans, the creamy off-white, and the nice contrast of the black. I wouldn't necessarily wear this buttoned up. Then I would feel like it would look a little boxy and weird. This is just meant to hang open, especially with the oversized fit. It just looks a little more natural. Another really cute way to style it, if it's really warm out for you, is to wear it right around your waist. I love wearing a neutral set with a pop of plaid right around the waist like that. Again, covering you where it counts. 
but it's adding that little twist of fall. There's no denying, I am a huge lover of cardigans. I will insert a clip of the amount of cardigan styles that I have. So I recently picked up some more because that's me in a nutshell. I have way too many of something, so why not buy more? <laughs> why not? I recently purchased some lightweight cardigans. Do you know the early fall when it's still like 80 degrees outside, even though you wish it was about 50. I had just experienced this the past few weeks. Up until now, it has still been hot and humid here in New Jersey. I got some super lightweight cardigans for this time of year. I have it in this beautiful coffee color. I also have one in black that I wore to Salem because I wanted that real rich, witchy vibe, but it was literally almost 90 degrees in Salem when I was there. I still got to wear something fall-esque without having the heat stroke. So whereas that plaid shag, it was very dense, very eye-catching, it had a lot going on pattern-wise. Here's how to tone down an outfit. This cardigan makes your outfit look a little bit more sleek and sophisticated, a little bit more formal. So you do have a full button down in the front. I do not have the time nor patience to button these, there's like 12 of them. So this is how it's staying. True size small is working, you could size down because look at this stretch. Look at it, you can even see through, that's how lightweight it is. But my favorite aspect of this cardigan without a doubt is the high to low. I love how it comes higher in the front and lower in the back. Look at that, it's like a little duster almost. It drapes like a Harry Potter robe. Now that's the full vibe I'm going for. No pattern, no breakup whatsoever, a nice solid lightweight cardigan. And again, like I said before, I loved it so much that I got it in black. And I'm thinking about going back for some more colors, maybe some winter colors. Now, now let's talk this Sherpa jacket, shall we? You guys are probably waiting like, Ash, let's talk about what you're wearing though. Here we go. So this is actually a men's Sherpa jacket. Bay ordered it last year. <laughs> he didn't like it. So Bay got this in and he was about to return it. And then I said, hold up, let me inspect it. AKA, let me wear it and see if I like it. And guess what? Well, it's still here, isn't it? I love it. Now granted, this is a men's size large, so it is pretty big on me but I actually really don't mind that. If this isn't the prettiest rust color, I don't know what is. So this is obviously, you can tell, really soft. This is a teddy bear style jacket. They say Sherpa, but this is straight up teddy. The men's large comes long enough to cover me in the front and the back. I love the extra material around the wrists. Adds a little bit of that extra fluffy look. There's no hood, it's really, really lightweight. Especially because this was a men's large, I anticipated it being a bit denser, but it's actually super lightweight. But don't get it twisted, this is still relatively insulating. So the past couple years, I've been really getting into bodysuits. I got a long sleeve for the fall time. Again, hitting you with that cream color. So this is a super, super lightweight, thin bodysuit all over rib. I paired it with these trousers and I actually took the plunge on these quite a few months ago. I was like, you know what? I've never worn anything like this. I'm gonna give it a go and I became obsessed with this style. Let's start with the bodysuit. I'm wearing a size small and I don't know if it's because of my short torso actually benefiting me, but I love the fact that the groin area where it snaps, the closure, isn't riding up. That's my biggest pet peeve when it comes to bodysuits. They're hit or miss. They're beautiful because they never roll up, they never get baggy and weird. But if you buy a bodysuit that just isn't the right size or doesn't work for your body, it can really hurt right around here. <laughs> There's been bodysuits where I literally had to just keep it unclasped the whole day and then it kind of defeats the purpose of wearing a bodysuit. With this, I don't have to. Amazon bodysuits that I've tried are really good in this aspect. No flossing going on down here, just back here. So it's a thong <laughs> in the back. This neckline is an attention grabber. This would look good with a statement necklace or even a scarf if you wanna stay really warm because I mean, kind of exposed up here. <laughs> like I said, this is extremely thin. Keep that in mind, this is not a thick sweater. Great for the warmer fall months. Very stretchy, very comfortable. My true size small is working. The back is fully covered. Keep in mind, this is so thin that it's see-through. So right now I'm wearing a Gymshark bralette underneath. You gotta wear something underneath. Moving on to the pants. Rich Ant vibes. <laughs> One of my uh, followers on Instagram always says that when I wear fancy things, she DMs me and says, 
rich ant vibes and I cannot disagree with that. It's true. Look how stretchy these are. Are you kidding me? So now I can look sophisticated, like I care about how I look, but yet I still feel like I'm wearing active wear. That's the goal. You have a really exaggerated tie in the front. This tie really adds a statement, a nice focal point to the trousers. I like the cinched look, a little ruching around here, right on the ankle here. You have a matching tie, like right around the belt region, right on the back of the ankle. This is the kind of tie you can tie yourself. So you can even make this tie in the front if you want, to have a little bow tie in the front of the ankle. Wear them with some flats, wear them with heels, anything goes. If you work in an office or you're a teacher, you need something to wear all day, very comfortable, but fits for an office setting, this could definitely be it. Okay, let me ask you a question. What's fall without matching loungewear sets? It isn't quite fall, is it? I have here a three-piece loungewear set. All over full rib, because if it's not ribbed, it's not loungewear. In this really pretty coffee color. Again, I'm loving the tans, the nudes, oh, all that. And the little spices of orange. So we have a cropped tank top with a really wide leg bottom and a long cardigan to go over. I love nothing more than a matching loungewear set to make me feel put together. This is something I can wear at home and then if somebody rings my doorbell, like if I need to sign for a package or my parents just randomly show up, I still look okay to answer the door and I don't look like I just rolled out of bed. Who says you can't stay home and still feel put together? I know that this set makes me feel that way. Starting with the robe and working our way in. So this robe is really long, comes right above my ankle. No pockets or anything, so this is what tells me it's a sleep robe. Very, very comfortable and stretchy all around. You have a crop top underneath, basic crops. You can take it off, still looking cute. And then you have the wide leg bottoms. So this is very, look at that, there's a lot of room here. Super comfortable to wear to bed. It's a tad long on me, just by an inch or two, but if you're wearing the slides like I am, then it seems to be okay. No taper at the bottom, so very loose. But for a three-piece set, you really can't go wrong. So whereas that lounge set you just saw was more stylish, I have another lounge set that's more sporty. So to put things in a little bit better perspective, this reminds me of the Gymshark Pippa set. Remember that? It's a very lightweight jogger set, but you can dress it up, wear it out a little bit. Sporty, coffee run, that kind of thing. It's a little more athletic looking than the previous lounge set. I like to have both. A lot different than the one you just saw, right? So like I said, this could be worn out, real sporty. How I would do it is tuck it right in like that, go out for a cup of coffee, you know. Or wear it to bed, hell yeah. Let it go, let it go. So I was actually sent a medium by accident. Either that or I ordered the wrong size by accident. I gotta double check. <laughs> Sometimes I get so excited to buy something that I actually forget to even look at the size. So it probably was me. So I got a medium and I'm actually really happy with it. Kind of glad I didn't get a small. Look at this, you want a little bit of extra room. When I'm looking at lounge sets, I don't want it to be skin tight or else what's the point? You got big pockets right here. You also got a chest pocket too to match. This is really solid. There's not a whole lot going on here. It is just for the functionality of being comfortable and the solid fall color in your face. Here's a couple of boots I've been loving lately. Yin and yang. So we have a chunky heel ankle boot in a really pretty nude color. This has more of a suede feel, so you can easily dress this up. I gotta admit though, when putting this on, it's not the easiest thing. I would say they're very true to size, but putting them on, you can't be really sitting. You have to, you have to step into it, if that makes sense. Really put your weight down into it and then shove your foot in it. Not the most effortless wear. I feel like I have to put a little effort into these when putting them on, but once they're on, they're really comfortable and super cute. So these would be my dainty, stylish, sophisticated fall boots. But every gal needs a pair of get down and dirty fall boots too, like when you're walking around the pumpkin patch or going to a haunted house, which oh, I can't wait. I just signed up for a haunted house 20 minutes from me and it's supposedly freakishly horrific and I cannot wait. We're going two times. One, me and Bay on our anniversary. Cause that's what we do, our one year wedding anniversary. Wanna go to a haunted house? Yes, I do. And the second one we're going with my brother and his girlfriend. So let's take a look at the shoes that I will be wearing there. And uh, to Fright Fest too, I'm going there too. I wore these to Salem. I walked all around town in these babies. 
They were pretty comfortable. This is not something I would walk around like more than a couple hours in, but nevertheless, they still held up. You even have a zipper on the inside, so really easy to put on, unlike the other ones. But who doesn't love this vintage cracked leather look? These are technically combat boots, that style. I have not had combat boots in years, and I'm so happy that I found these. These are Amazon essentials, and they are essential. Honorable mention, because you guys have been asking quite a bit about these in the past couple of videos where I wore them, these cloud slides. Truth be told, I didn't get these on Amazon. I got them from like thecloudslides.com or something like that. I don't even know if it was the legit site. I just remember it was on sale for like $15 each and I was like, okay. But they were marked down from $80. Needless to say, I found the same exact pair on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Same color, same style, same texture, same everything. So if you guys are looking for really affordable cloud slides, like I said, I wasn't necessarily gonna put these into the Amazon fall favorites, but since you guys have been asking so much about these, I figured, you know what, let's touch base, it's about time. Well, you guys, that concludes my current fall fashion favorites from Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful or inspiring. If you did, please do consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. Like I said before, we have Aloe Yoga, Gymshark, Alpha Lee, Set Active, whole bunch coming your way. You're not gonna wanna miss. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video.